is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a top five for you guys to end off our year of 2021. Everybody knows that the WWE Ultimate Edition from Mattel is one of the most sought-after action figure lines in the toy aisles, man. It's, it's one of the best. It's definitely the premier wrestling brand, man. I would say that the Ultimate Edition is probably the well-known, the one that people love to collect. People have massive mock collections loose, and they're picking up two and three copies of every single figure. I mean, this line is the epitome of wrestling action figures with the accessories, the added articulation, the details, the interchangeable heads. The list goes on and on, man, right? So today we have a great look at the top five best Ultimate Editions from Mattel in my own personal opinion. This is the MDT official WWE Ultimate Edition top five of the year. Now we got some great gems this year. These were not released this year, but this is some of my favorites over the years that we have gotten. Of course, Becky Lynch was kind of dog-ish to be honest with you, but I did fix it up and now I love it. I think it looks fantastic. I love the Kill Bill gear. It, it's just fantastic. But today, man, we're going to count down my top five favorite WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition figures from 2021. I think it was the best year of WWE Mattel in the whole decade that they have ran with WWE. I think this is a, a great partnership. It'll continue to get better, and we've seen this through this year. And don't worry, we do have my top 10 WWE Elites coming soon, my top 10 AEW figures, and I'm even trying to work out a worst figures of the year or just worst wrestling figures of the year video. I was going to do my top fives or tens, worst AEW, worst WWE, but maybe we can find a way to merge it into one video. You guys can let me know what you would rather see on the channel down in the comments section below. With all that being said, man, let's dive into my top five WWE Ultimate Editions of 2021. So coming in at number five, man, is none other than the Ultimate Edition Macho Man Randy Savage. Now, I did not expect this figure to make my top five of the year. I really wasn't looking forward to this figure a lot, you know? I, I was kind of underrating this figure a ton. If you guys watched my top five figures that surprised me the most this year, this figure did make the list in there. If you guys want to go check out that video, definitely go check it out. But this figure totally shocked me in every single case, every single sense of the word. I did not expect it to be as good as it is. I, uh, you know, when it was first shown off. I didn't really like the body mold. I didn't really like what we were getting for the attire. I wasn't really feel. I don't know why the thing stopped spinning. Why are you doing that? That's pretty upsetting. What are you doing? Trying to embarrass me? I don't know. This thing's kind of rickety. I don't know what's going on with it. it. It wants to work and then it does it and it just stops working sometimes. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. Anyways, the white jacket's sick. I like the accessories. I think the figure just feels so good in the hand. I think that's really what it comes down to when it came down to my top five ranking. I love the way it feels in the hand. It's not a very loosey-goosey figure. That's a problem that a lot of Ultimate Editions have, and you know, they're trending towards getting better at, but I feel like it was uh, one of those figures that I didn't have to worry about. It felt really good in the hand. It got the job done, and it shocked the hell out of me, which was really cool. That's That always leaves a big impression on me. I don't know if you guys ever feel this way, but if you really underrate a figure, and then you get it, and it turns out to be way better than it actually, or what you thought it was, then it ends up being like a figure you favor more over others. It's kind of like it, you expected something. It's like when you meet somebody, you expect them to let you down, and then they come through, and you're like, like, damn, I like that guy. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of how I feel about the Macho Man. But this figure comes in at my number five of the top five Ultimate Editions of 2021. Coming into my number four spot, man, is the Undertaker Ultimate Edition. Another figure that did not let me down. A figure that I thought would. I was expecting it to fall flat on its face, but it came through. I really like the girth of the arms. I really get, like, a big feel of the Undertaker with this figure, you know? Like, it feels like an important figure. It feels really good. It kind of represents that massive deal that Undertaker is. I feel like a lot of his elites don't really bring that. I feel like they are a little bit too skinny. They remind me of the other Kane figures, you know? They kind of look a little bit too skinny in the torso area. They don't really capture the magnitude and how big The Undertaker really is, but this figure did a great job of that. I like the chest sculpt. I like that it has this rubber overthrow over the torso, and it kind of brings the whole deal together. I love the head sculpts. They look a lot better than the Michael Jackson-looking head sculpts that we thought we were going to get, and I love the cutthroat hands. I love all the interchangeability with it, the, the boots with the smoothness, totally accurate, the sculpts going down the sides. It just really delivered. I thought it was going to fall flat on its face. It really came through for me, and just like the Macho Man, I think that added to the figure a whole lot, man. So Undertaker comes in at my number four Ultimate Edition of 2021. 
Moving into my number three spot is the Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time and a figure that I think is just great. It's the best Stone Cold Steve Austin that we've received. The interchangeable heads, the hat, the t-shirt that has zero vel Velcro. Something that I always complained about as a kid back in the day was that they never, ever put the graphic of his shirt on the back. It's like they were cutting costs. They didn't want to put the extra deco on the figure. They wanted to skip out on that. Ah, who cares? Nobody really cares about the back of the shirt. I mother effing cared about the back of the shirt, all right? It was one of my favorite things about the figures was that I wanted my Stone Colds to have the back of the graphic. I loved his shirts. I loved collecting his shirts as a little kid, and I was so bummed out as a kid, like five, six, seven years old about this, and even on into my adulthood, I always was pissed that they would leave that off. And then you fast forward to Mattel, okay, they have the Velcro on there, which is great. It's a cloth shirt, but putting the Velcro on there, that would always leave off what? The back graphic of the shirt. So this one is great that it not only doesn't stain the figure, but it also fits perfectly. It fits like an actual t-shirt. It has the graphic on the back, which I love, and it just encapsulates Stone Cold Steve Austin. My only gripe about it is that the arms are too small, I feel. I feel like it could have bigger arms. It doesn't quite, quite have the musculature that Stone Cold Steve Austin, quite opposite of the Undertaker figure that we just talked about, but Stone Cold Steve Austin's Ultimate Edition is badass. I love the interchangeable heads. It's just a beauty of a figure. I really want to get this autoed and hung up mock in my collection because this is a beauty right here and it came in at number three. Coming in at the number two spot for me is the Ultimate Edition Kane figure. This figure really impressed me a lot. I thought that it looked great. This one was actually the opposite of Undertaker and Macho Man. I was really excited to get this figure. I knew that it would slap, and I think it totally came through. I think that it delivered on every single aspect of it. I love the way the mask sculpts look. We finally got brand new Kane head sculpts that we had been missing. I think that the molds that they use and the girth of the figure overall, it just really represents Kane. The only gripe I have, again, is the elbow. You guys know the elbow elbow paint as you guys can see there it is missing which is a huge missed opportunity i know that mattel's trying to make it right with everybody but at the end of the day i don't think that that should have ever been a problem i don't even know how that happens you know it should have been molded in red but at the end of the day it represents kane beautifully the butterfly joints the sculpts again it's it's similar to undertaker where like his elite figures were always too skinny but these really capture how big kane was you know he was a jack dude and this this ultimate edition actually captures that beautifully kane's one of my my favorites ever so this is just a beautiful figure the mask sculpt looks great all the different things they actually have a sculpted belt on there which really changes the game and it just encaptures Kane perfectly I mean I don't know what else to say man Kane is the second best ultimate edition of the year in my opinion and I wouldn't be shocked if people had it at number one it's a beautiful piece that just it, they nailed this one this year number one spot we have the ultimate edition john cena the second ultimate edition of john cena that we have gotten you guys can see i have many copies of this figure for future fix-ups customs things of that nature for the massive john cena collection and shelf and display however man this figure just encapsulates everything that i love about action figures really man just that piece of nostalgia that piece that you can look at it really takes you back and just reminds you of a great time right so you can look back you can look at this this is just the iconic look of john cena that i've always loved and it's just so perfect man i love it i love that they went with the black and white gear you can make the different gear with the double white armbands you can do the double black armbands you can do a lot of different stuff with this figure i just love it man it's it's perfect i know it's very plain jane to a lot of people it's basically a re-release with you know a different gear but that doesn't really bother me i'm just glad that they went with this edition it's just it's my favorite ultimate edition it's probably my favorite mattel action figure they've ever made for wwe it's definitely up there i would say i don't i, I mean i don't know for sure but it's definitely up there just base straight release you know straight off the cuff no fix-ups or nothing added to the figure you know it's up there with defining moments chris jericho it's up there with some of those other releases that we've talked about in the past this one is just beautiful and they've really upgraded it you know i know that we've seen this technology before with the sweat bands and the arm bands and the uh, different stuff but the new hat molds the new you know arm bands and things of that nature the only thing i would say is that i wish that it had you know a a different shirt as far as i wish it had the same the same deal as the stone cold steve Austin right because that one was before this one and it didn't have any velcro and then you go to this figure and it has velcro it was like damn i wish they could have done where it was just like the austin shirt where it would fit around the biceps nice and it would have the back graphic on it and it would have all those different things so that's my only gripe about the figure for real but i just love this figure it encapsulates it beautifully john cena is my goat and this is a, a great representation of that i just love it i love this figure and it's just everything about it i'm a chain gang soldier for life and this is what this figure means to me so that is pretty much my 
my top five WWE Ultimate Editions of the year. I would love to know your top five down in the comment section below, or if you don't want to name your five, maybe you can name your three, or just your favorite Ultimate Edition of the year. Again, many top tens, many things to come for the end of the year in review, man. We're going to take a look at the top ten WWE Elites. I wanted to separate the Elites and the Ultimates because I felt like that was more... Uh, appropriate just because you know ultimate editions they're probably going to be the better of the elites i know there are elites that are better than ultimates but i think that overall the ultimates are not really it's an apples to oranges comparison type deal where you know you, the ultimates are they have more accessories more articulation more details mainly and i wanted to separate that but the elites can really compete on their own man some of these elites are like ultimate edition elite figures you know with their with their stance and some sometimes i feel like elites are even better than ultimates it just depends on how you look at it man but that is going to wrap up my top five WWE Ultimate Editions of 2021, man. Leave your list down in the comment section below. What do you think of my list? Let me know all of these things down in the comment section below. Would love it to, to, I would love to discuss it with you. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Don't cross the line like me when I bought how many copies we got here. I think this is like 11 or something like that. Christ on a bike. You cross the line. I've been